All right, everyone just take a deep breath. We made it. The long wait is over. The new Legend of Zelda game is out and it's good. Four years of intense development have finally paid off and we've been given a truly magical experience. A game that will go down in the annals of history among some of the greatest games ever made. So, thank you, Nintendo. Where's the virtual Where's console? The Metroid! Metroid. Super Mario Bros. You guys, you guys finished? Hey. Hey HUD buds, Brendan here, and welcome to Heads Up Display. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the 19th game in the Legendary Zelda series, a series that has been making semi-regular releases for over 30 years. In the very first entry in the series, 1987's The Legend of Zelda, players were let loose in a huge world to explore and beat the game at their own pace. The player had near complete agency over their game experience. Heck, you could defeat Ganon and save the princess without ever even picking up a sword. Over the 30 years following, though, Nintendo slowly gave the player less and less control over their adventure, culminating in 2011's Skyward Sword, the most linearly focused game in the series. Now, I don't mean to say that the more linear Zelda games are inferior, far from it. I just find it strange that Nintendo never looked back and explored what made the original game so iconic. Until now. If I could describe The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in one word, that word would be freedom. After completing the game's non-linear tutorial area, you are given a quest, destroy Ganon. The rest is up to you. You can go anywhere and do anything. Maybe you'll want to track down a wise village elder to learn more about the ancient prophecy you're a part of. Or maybe you'll try to find a legendary sword that's hidden away somewhere in Hyrule. Or perhaps you'll seek out shrines and dungeons scattered throughout the world to train yourself up for the final battle. Or maybe you don't give a crap about any of that stuff and run straight to Hyrule Castle to face Ganon in your underwear. You'll get your butt kicked, but you can do it. The point is, you have complete freedom over how you experience this game and over how much of the game you want to experience. Hyrule is truly massive, and with the ability to climb nearly every surface and no invisible walls to speak of, the game instills a sense of liberation in the player that I've never felt in an open world game before. Have I mentioned the world is huge? Because the world is huge. Should have called it Breadth of the Wild, right? Like with the D? You guys know what I'm talking. Anyways, Hyrule is big, but it's far from empty. There's something to do, see, or discover around every corner, whether it be a new shrine to complete, a Korok puzzle to solve, a monster camp to take on, or a map updating tower to scale. This version of Hyrule is just begging to be explored. Next, let's talk aesthetics. Personally, I think that Breath of the Wild is the best looking game Nintendo has ever released. The game has a gorgeous Miyazaki-esque art style that just works for me in every way, despite the Wii U and the Switch's lacking graphical capabilities. I was mesmerized by the pastel landscapes, and I often found myself bringing Link to a complete halt mid-quest just to watch the sunset. Unfortunately, hardware limitations are nonetheless apparent, with pop-in and inconsistent frame rates appearing in certain areas, especially when playing on the Switch in docked mode. Though these moments are few and far between, they can distract some players from the experience. The music in this game is nothing short of breathtaking. Ambient piano music drifts lazily over the landscape while you explore and often cuts out altogether so you can enjoy the brilliant sound design of the wilds around you. These ambient tracks are contrasted well with the memorable and pulse pounding tracks during action sequences or while fighting a boss. Familiar melodies from past games in the series make their appearance as well. One particular surprise inclusion was a new rendition of the Dragon Roost Island theme from The Wind Waker, one of my all time favorite tunes. Good stuff. Breath of the Wild marks the first Zelda game to include fully voice acted cutscenes, and I must say I'm not too big of a fan. There's this odd lack of quality in most of the voice acting that makes me feel like I'm playing a cheesy Sonic Adventure game instead of a Zelda game. I would much rather Nintendo had stuck with gibberish again this time around. Fortunately though, our old buddy Link is just as mute as ever. Another aspect of this game that's worth talking about is the difficulty, and let me tell you, the game does not mess around. Following in Zelda 1's footsteps, Nintendo has ramped up the difficulty this time. Unlike more recent Zelda titles, Breath of the Wild doesn't hold the player's hand at all. Enemies are capable of one-shotting you right at the start of the game, and an unforgiving weapon durability system means that you're constantly being pushed to use a variety of different weapons and combat styles. Fortunately, very generous auto-saves mean that dying is less frustrating and more of a learning experience. 
Overcoming the game's challenges and growing stronger is made all the more satisfying by the increased difficulty. After getting absolutely pulverized by a particularly bloodthirsty enemy early in the game, there's nothing more rewarding than continuing on, training up, and then returning to blow that thing into the friggin' stratosphere later down the line. Now I could keep going on about Breath of the Wild's excellent dungeon design or how it beautifully combines aspects from its long history of titles to form a unified narrative or whatever, but let's just get down to the score. While I don't think Breath of the Wild is a perfect video game due to issues with voice acting and the occasional graphical stutter, I do think that my overall collective experience of the game was indeed flawless. This is a game that deserves to be held up as the pinnacle of open world design. It's beautiful, it's memorable, it's groundbreaking, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. HUD is proud to award The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild five stars. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to our social media and our channel for more fun videos like this one. Also, we're having our third annual HUDCon. It's April 1st at Mad Hatter's House of Games on Texas Avenue in Lubbock, Texas, and we're having the convention from 12 till 5 p.m. Admission is free, there'll be free pizza, and a bunch of other activities along with appearances by a bunch of other Texas Tech student organizations. Hope to see you there. For now, this is Brendan, and this is Heads Up Display. I'm trying my best, okay? <gasps>